Shalom everybody, I hope you're keeping well. My name is Hillary and I'm here to share some prophetic updates concerning the USA, the United States of America. Um, this vision, I saw it some month ago, 5th of August. I was praying, I can't say I was praying for America, but I was praying, having some good time in the presence of God. Then I saw a vision. I saw the flag of the United States of America in flames. So I started to meditate and ask the Holy Spirit, what does this thing mean? And then the Spirit of God started to show me what was happening behind the scenes. He showed me that uh, warlocks, witches, occultic people, uh, they were sacrificing, empowering the demonic altar so that they could push the nation into darkness. I think I should explain. Normally, the devil works with altars. The devil works with sacrifices. Before demons, before warlocks can succeed in the agenda, they must sacrifice. Others will give blood. I saw them preparing to push the nation into chaos, into darkness. And they normally want to use the election cycle. If you're a keen observer, especially in most parts of the world and, I, and in Africa specifically, you'll find that during an election there is chaos, there is war, there's bloodshed. So the same script, I saw the enemy was planning to push it to America. So I'm talking to intercessors, I'm talking to prayer warriors, I'm talking to believers who have a burden uh, to pray for the nation of America. Because I understand some people have been given a burden to pray over nations. It's not a must to come from that nation. You can be praying for a nation that you've never visited, a nation that you've never even had a desire to visit, but God can give you that burden to pray for them. So if God has called you to pray for the USA, you need to pray for the following things. The first thing I saw war and bloodshed. Because during an election, the environment is ripe. The atmosphere is conducive for war because people are divided along political lines, party lines. So already in the hearts of people, in the minds of people, there is animosity. There is anger, there is bitterness. So the devil will take advantage of such environments to launch attacks. So the fabric of the nation uh, might be disturbed uh, because of these devilish attacks. And the trigger will be the election. So I saw war and bloodshed. So when you're praying, pray against war and bloodshed. The second thing, I saw people moving and relocating since their habitation, their habitation was disturbed. So where people stay, their homes, their towns, their cities, I saw them try to relocate because the environment was not conducive. But I believe you can pray and avert these things. That we have seen it spiritually doesn't mean that it must happen. God in his mercy will open the eyes of intercessors or prophets to see what the enemy is planning so that you can begin to pray, you can begin to counsel, you can begin to ask for mercy. Remember. In some cases, God does not depend on multitudes. Only few people who have, a, who have the burden, remnants, who have a burden over something. When God was about to destroy uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, only one person interceded. That one person caused God to, uh, to move with mercy. So I saw the following. So we should pray, protect the nation, save lives by prayer. Me and you, we know very well, no kind of political strategy can prevent some things, but I believe if, if Christians, if, if believers can kneel down and begin to cry, God will begin to intervene and salvage the situation. God bless you.